Hello, I am Majid from Chegovara.com. Chegovara is a subscription box service for fast-moving consumer products. We are creating a super convenient way for uh, supplying products you consume on a regular basis. For example, bottled water, certain food items, health, skincare, and baby products. We have established our MVP for the niche market of bottled water consumers. After six months, we have, uh, we have uh, acquired more than uh, 400 paying subscribers and we are generating near $5,000 monthly revenue. Uh, uh, water business is a promising industry in Iran. Uh, con considering the near future water crisis, many uh, giant companies uh, have heavily invested in this market. For example, Pepsi, Nestle, Coca-Cola and Danone. Besides being a healthy uh, habit, drinking bottled water is somehow addictive. You can easily get used to the pure taste and lifestyle of high quality. But boxes of water are really heavy and they finish fast, which makes supplying them from supermarkets a huge headache for every regular consumer. That's why we have targeted bottled water consumers as early adopters of our subscription box service. Our subscribers receive their favorite brand in the quantity they choose at their doorsteps on a regular basis. Uh, each delivery is confirmed with customer two days before through mobile application. Uh, we also collect and recycle empty plastic bottles and make it easy for our subscribers to care for the environment. Uh, we have uh, multiple years of e-commerce and uh, agile product development experience in our team uh, mixed with a lot of positive energy and uh, uh, we also benefit advice from uh, experts in critical aspects of our business. Uh, in the next uh, 12 months, we are, uh, uh, we are focusing on our product experience, uh, our, uh, our software development, product assortment and operational excellence. Uh, we happily accept support through investment, mentorship and strategic partnership. Thank you very much. You did, just so you know, you had a misspelling in there. If you yeah. back up, it's about uh, maybe the fifth slide in. It was uh, the, the word, uh, what was it, cycle? Yeah. Uh, recycle. Oh, uh, go for There you go. Recycle. That's misspelled, uh, just so you know. A picky, a picky thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, most investors, by the way, like, we are not literary experts. Like, yeah, yeah. We're not doing it so you can publish a book, like, with editors. The minute, go back one slide. This is a, an email we keep. The minute an investor sees this, for some weird reason, they stop paying attention to you. Yeah. And they go like, if this is, this, you're asking my money in front of thousands of people, and you didn't press F7 for spell check, what else have you missed? I know it's weird, like from typo, you go a very unreliable businessman, but that's how fast things move. They will think you haven't checked it. Meh. There are so many of you. So don't give them the meh opportunity. <laughs> yes. I, I, I think you did a, a nice job. I think the, I, what is your, uh, so you have, what is it, 400 customers now? Yes, Four, 400 customers. And, um, and so uh, what is, what's your customer acquisition cost? What have you spent to get the 400 customers? Uh, right now, we have spent almost nothing because uh, uh, it's, it, uh, our growth has been organic through mm -hmm. uh, search engine optimization mm -hmm. techniques and word of mouth. Mm -hmm. But 20% is not organic, right? Yes. So yes. there's some expense. What's the, that expense been? Uh, we have uh, 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 distributed flyers in uh, our customer neighborhoods yeah. and uh, that's it. So you're building density, you're working in, yes, yes, in neighborhoods. To, it's our main marketing Water strategy. is very difficult to, to deliver. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so having uh, a deep neighborhood. So uh, what geography within Iran are you serving now? Uh, we are currently in Tehran. Okay. Uh, uh, and we are growing our business in Tehran and uh, we're going to replicate the model yep. the grow of our growth in Tehran with partners in uh, other cities and maybe other countries. Yeah. You know, I, I really think you did a nice job. I think you did, you were very uh, clear uh, in describing the service, the product. Um, and then, uh, you know, as you went through it, you gave us some uh, really good stories. I think I'd maybe look at, at customer acquisition costs, I think would be, would be interesting, because it also tells us, you know, sort of, okay, we, if we want to go to 
from 400 to 800 customers. What, what's that going to cost? We want to go to 800 to 1600 to 32, yes. to, you know, and so on, and keep doubling. What, is, what are we going to have to pay to do that? Um, and, and of course, then, what do, at what point do we break even? At what point are we profitable and paying mm -hmm. salaries and things like that? So uh, again, I think you did a really nice job. Uh, I think, you know, there's maybe just continue to tighten up, but I think in general, real nice. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this could be a little counterintuitive, but here's my question. Bill asked you how much you spent to grow, and you said nothing. Almost nothing was your yes. exact words. Okay, then why do you need my money? If you can grow without, with mm, almost sure. no expenditure, yes. then grow with almost no expenditure to wherever it goes. Like, either you're not telling us something, yes, um, or you sh you're, there's something wrong. See the like, yes. logic? Uh, because we are a distribution uh, business, uh, the main, the, our main cost is not acquire, acquiring customers, because it, uh, and it's uh, our operation and the delivery. Uh, okay. The main part of uh, our focus in the next year is our operational excellence, which we build and maintain a delivery service uh, that uh, delivers stuff. Um, the most uh, hard is uh, bottled water, okay. water, which is heavy. Uh, right to the doorsteps of customers. Okay, so what you're telling, what he's telling me is, we could grow without paying anything, because every sale we're making a loss. Do you get the picture? You, I am you giving you something so almost. No, no, no. I'm giving you the logic of somebody who crunches numbers. Okay. You can grow a money losing business forever without spending any marketing. If you tell me. I'm going to bring you money, like bring you water for free. You can acquire me. Yes. And you didn't pay anything. That's fine. Maybe you did, but maybe you didn't. So you can acquire everybody by giving them something free. But yes. that does not mean your unit economics work, which you mean by service excellence. You yes. need to grow to a certain stage to be profitable per every bottle, every subscription, right? Yes. So that's what you want to go. So instead of saying we have 400 paying cost subscribers, we're growing, and our cost of acquiring customer and lifetime value is becoming break-even, will become break-even when we have 3,000 paying subscribers. Mm -hmm. We want the money to support us to get to that level. After that, we're profitable. So that is a more plausible story because the ask, go to the ask of $200,000, one more, one more, one more, again, again. Service experience, not everybody understands what, what you're going to spend the money for service experience. Okay. $200,000 is real. I don't know what you're going to spend it for. If you told me to acquire 10,000 more customers, math could work. If you tell me 70,000 will go to software development, that might make sense. Product assortment, not everybody will understand what you're going to use my money for. Mm -hmm. So you need to be more um, common for them. $50,000 will go to the packaging and building the courier service. $50,000 will go to building more networks. Per network, it costs us $1,000. So with the money, we're going to have a larger distribution center. Mm. Those kind of tangible things will make investors' life easier and they can approach you. Because mm. when they understand, they can ask you questions. Usually if they don't understand, they just say, meh. That's yes. the big, big part. For those of you who are asking, be very careful. Like you're asking my money. Tell me what my money is going to do for you. And as neatly and as accurately as possible. Then maybe we'll have a discussion. All right, so far, so good. Good luck. Thank Congratulations. you very much.